This week, we're in a rental RV outside of Perth, and I'm going to be taking you on a journey into an alternate timeline. I love traveling west because my body's on a 25-hour circadian rhythm. I need to travel an average of one time zone a day in order to get enough sleep. The most important thing to realize about prosperity is it's not a zero-sum game. Every time goods or services or money are exchanged, it's because both parties benefit from that exchange. That means that every time anything is bought or sold or traded, the world becomes a slightly better place. When I was young, there was a television show about a cool character called Max Headroom and as an American, that phrase meant nothing to me. That's just his name, Max Headroom. I, I mean, I saw in the, in the movie that he ran into a bar that said Max Headroom, but I didn't understand even really why it would say that. And supposedly in England, they have signs all over the place that said Max Headroom. But when I came to Australia, I did not see any of those, except until today. I have now found a sign that actually says Max Headroom on it. I think these might be the elusive no speed limit signs. I don't think that means you can go as fast as you want to go though. I have to look up what these mean in Western Australia. But they used to have signs that mean no speed limit. Pox Eclipse is a brand new festival three hours east of Perth in Western Australia. And we're at the first one of them. Me and my fly collection. Okay, I have something to say about the flies in Australia and in the United States. There is a strange difference. I mean, they look the same, but in the United States, the flies have different motivations. In the United States, they will land on your food and they'll leave you alone. But here, they ignore your food and they try to land on your face. And they go up your nose. I got one up my nose one time. And then I tried to blow my nose and it still didn't come out. I could feel it walking around inside my sinuses. And then it plopped out into my hand. Can you take my beer, Steve? Last time I did this in the back of a Subaru Brat, I had a chair and I had a little joystick. So <laughs> it's a little more dangerous now. Oh, is that like the way that they designed them in America? They had to turn it into a four-seater to get around the chicken tax. Yeah, so you're one of the people that like sets this whole thing up, aren't you? Yeah, Kristen nice. and I. Yeah. Nice, yeah. Have anyway. you seen the interceptor yet? Oh, no. You haven't? Oh, it's no. out there, it's coming in soon, yeah, so then you can frost I can just stand here. I can just stand here and be excited. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, we can just as we make numbers, we go along. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so yeah, the, best well. the other thing though, you got to realize is the smaller events are better than Wasteland because with mm. Wasteland, you just got people from LA coming, and they just they'll go to anything they can dress up for. Yeah. 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 Roll, what's that mean? Oh, you know, like, <laughs> roll. Oh, okay. you get a little hungry, yeah. <laughs> I think that one tastes like cherry, that one tastes like no. tiger, no. Then, yeah. no. blueberry, yeah. yeah. I've never heard anything like that. Okay, forget about cars. This is now an Australian bird watching channel. I think these are butcher birds. But butcher birds in different places have different songs. There's no single song of the butcher bird. It's the same with the currawongs and the magpies. Depends on where you go, they all have different songs. It's like they speak different dialects. Matt, Mitsubishi, all train technology. Sorry. That's all right. Oh man, that looks so good. I don't even think we'll worry about the boots, the, the machine no. guns. Eclipse, your eyes, who come and bow before us. You're not a true boo fucking Aussie unless you have a VB long neck at 8.20 in the fucking morning, you fucking cunts. Get that up here. Catastrophe didn't make it. It's, okay. Uh, and what's catastrophe? What is catastrophe that? is a uh, like a Trans Am, like kit, night rider, but on a four-wheel drive chassis, lifted and all that. That's sort of right, stuff. right, right. Yeah, we, I never got a finish. Yeah, I think so. that might even be why, like, I added you on Facebook because I think so. my name is Firebird. Yes, that's yeah, that's it. That's and I have exactly a 1975 right. Firebird. Yeah. yeah. So I was yeah, like, yeah, we yeah, send yeah, Firebird. Yeah. That's my name. So, no, it, it never got here. It's Shit happens. Yep. You know, right well, I can't time. wait to I can't wait to meet it one day. So, yeah, no, next year definitely. Yeah. I don't know. 
Yeah, but this one I bought my tickets for it when it first came out yeah. years years ago, and yeah. like we'll just keep waiting. It eventually happened. That's it's, exactly and right. It's happened. Yes. We're well, here. I had to go back through my emails to find my bloody tickets from last year. I know. I know. You know. He scans the horizon for those mysterious Australian vehicles that are only seen on the Aussie outback the highways and byways. He knows when he sees them, he's gonna get really excited. R57. So if you want your 57 inch wheels, these are the tires you're going to want to get. Hey mister, what happened to the car? What do you think happened to it? Looks like it was chewed up and spat out. Perhaps it was the result of an anxiety. So what am I supposed to put on this? Ketchup? Oh. All right. Sorry, sexy leg. That's going to come to your cat. Do I just dump it all over it or what? Or do I dump it in the thing and dip it in? That's the best way. OK. Yes. Oh, yeah. Sausage roll. A sausage roll? What is this? Mm. <laughs> it's delicious. <laughs> I have finally eaten a sausage roll. <laughs> Didn't he tell you that's a sausage dog roll? Sausage dog roll. It's a what? You yeah. mean a dog sausage? Yeah. Oh, okay. That still counts, right? Is it dingo? I would like to ask the commenters to inspect and verify that this is indeed a sausage roll. At Wasteland Weekend, they have a rule that says nobody can be dragged behind a vehicle. And they made this rule because some idiot was once dragged behind a vehicle. And he's not an idiot. He's a great man. His name is Dave Dufour. He was dragged behind a vehicle that was towing a tire behind it. And he made Wasteland history that day. And they made a rule just for him. I'm going to tell you that it's incredibly dangerous and if you're doing it now, wait, to wait, yeah. wait until we have a whole bunch of people that are doing it. Absolutely. And yeah. that's when it gets a little bit more, you know. See, I think what you should do irresponsible is Irresponsible make... isn't the right word. <laughs> uh, chaotic isn't quite, we're not quite there. I'm, yeah. I'm so we're trying. I think you should make a rule from now on that you can't do that. Because I want to be the guy who yeah, made the rule come about. No, actually, I'm not, no, I'm not, all, I'm not about rules. Okay. We don't well, make rules. We just say, you're an adult. You can do that, but I wouldn't. <laughs> and like, I do some pretty crazy shit, but I wouldn't do that. I tried to get them to make a rule, but I couldn't do it. But they refused to make a rule. But they will stop you. <laughs>
So did you fall off? Oh no, the, 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 uh, the hose broke. In 10 years, you're gonna come back here. This entire lot is gonna be filled with cars and tents. And uh, there's gonna be like flames shooting out of the Poxyclip sign. And there's gonna be famous bands here. And there's gonna be a rule on the books that says you can't be dragged behind a vehicle, okay? Well, I was the one who did it. Me, well, me and Dave DeFore, of course. Thank you, Dave, for the inspiration. Can't make fire happen when you're lying down. No, no. You're all done with the fire? No, not started yet. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. We'll just get you some motivation. I'm going to get some motivation very shortly. We've got to throw some caps at him or something? Yeah. I'm short two items, though. What are you short? Two star pickets. We can go with that, that's easy. All right, and then an inverter. An inverter? Okay, cool. I'll sort that. I'll go see the boys down at Bodega. So we tested out the nest. But we did it with diesel. And the fucking smoke cloud that came up from it was just huge. We're, we were just reloading it, and woo woo, fire brigade came. So we shut the gates of the nest. We're all sitting out the back, and they're driving around the block looking to find out where the smoke cloud came from. How would you prevent the apocalypse from ever happening again? I would say we cannot. We can never. Like, if you went back in time and told people in, you know, 19. 30. Oh, yeah, World War One, And they'd be like, uh, what? Because <laughs> they would thought that was the war, the war to end all wars. But there'll be a three. So the only hope is to prepare, I guess. Pretty much. How would you prevent the apocalypse from ever happening again? Oh, um, my friend has a DeLorean. So I'd probably just uh, install a flux capacitor and get back there and make sure change, take what I need to change. I'd probably put some bets on some sports while I'm there as well. No, I'm gonna go watch the um, Juggers and Berserkers. <laughs> <laughs> Take a fucking photo and go watch the Juggers and Berserkers. Come on, hurry up and I'll prove. It's a working blower, or at least it's spinning. This is a rare sight to see. Does the blower work or does it just spin? It's fake. It's fake, but it does spin. The instant the sun goes down in Australia, the flies vanish. Where do they go? If you are planning on visiting Australia and you're only going to be in the cities, don't worry about the flies. But if you're going to be in the outback, you might want to worry about the flies. I would highly recommend getting out of the cities though and seeing the rest of Australia. I made this vest actually for our short film. The Saints invented punk before the Sex Pistols invented punk. I'm stranded by the Saints. Check it out. That's a thumbnail, look. <laughs> we are at Poxyclips! How would you prevent the apocalypse from ever happening again? Kill the politicians. Okay, and, and then? then? when we kill them, the next lot that come in, kill them. Okay. And kill them, uh -huh. and kill them, until everyone is too scared. To be a politician. To be a politician. <laughs> This has been the first ever Poxyclip Festival in Southern Cross, Western Australia. I'm Wasteland Firebird. Thank you for inviting me into your home or onto your portable device. Have a good night.
I asked some of the people there what they would do to prevent the apocalypse from ever happening again. And if I were to answer that question, I would say the answer is economic literacy. Economics is not just the study of money, it's the study of how to make good decisions. The decisions we make can destroy the world or save the world. So economics is the study of how to save the world. Thanks to Mad Skelly for the camera work.